William Kafara was one of the Mahoning Valley's most influential businessmen. The Eastwood Mall he built is still run by his grandsons, as is the company that bears his name. The story of William Kafaro has now been told in a book by Tom Welsh and commissioned by William Kafaro's son, Anthony Kafaro Sr., who is also a contributing editor. Tonight, the Kafaro story. I sat this afternoon with author Tom Welsh in the main concourse of the Eastwood Mall, the statue of William Kafaro over our shoulders, holding his ever present cigar, listening to our every word. Welsh's book on the life and legacy of William Kafaro fit nicely underneath. You're talking about somebody who was not only you know, an icon of the Mahoning Valley, not only somebody who played a big role in the development of this area, but was also involved in politics. William Cafaro was born in 1913 and raised among Youngstown's east side Italian community. His first venture into business came in the 1930s when he opened the Ritz Bar, which was one of the landmarks of the east side. The Ritz was a bar that was, became so successful he was able to sell it for more than $100,000. In the Mahoning Valley, William Cafaro's most recognizable accomplishment was building the Eastwood Mall in Niles. But Cafaro also had a role in developing the Southern Park Mall. In fact, says Welsh, it was originally his idea before Edward de Bartolo Sr. took over. There were some legal tangles, and I'm, I'm kind of understating it here. <laughs> but in any case, eventually they formed a business partnership and uh, developed together. And... Uh, uh, and Edward Barlow bought him out. William Cafaro was also politically connected. That's him, second row middle, just above Harry Truman, and on the far left with John Kennedy. Cafaro was instrumental in making Youngstown College a state university, Lake Milton a state park, and getting a federal courthouse downtown. He was also a philanthropist, sometimes in small ways, like when he attended banquets at Our Lady of Mount Carmel Hall. William Cafaro would come in and shake the hand of every member of that staff, the kitchen staff, the dishwashers, everything, and always left a generous tip. In the dedication of the book, Anthony Cafaro Sr. writes that it was written for the descendants of his father, so they will be inspired by his achievements. Initially, the book will be given out to friends and family and those who contributed to its writing. In a few months, it will be for sale exclusively at Books A Million in the Eastwood Mall.